this house comes with a 30-year-old honeybee nest in the walls of the tower. This house also came with 10 bedrooms, 8 baths, 2 safes, a forest full of flora and fauna, a hidden library, about 7,200 square feet of space, it's magical, but it is a full-time job to maintain. Most of today was spent just resetting all of the bedrooms, the laundry, the cleanup, all of the things that have to happen after I have guests here. I did find some time in the evening to put my hands on the clock tower. I could feel myself pushing me to do more, rebelling against my body, telling me that it was tired. I have a lot of childhood trauma that has kept me so disassociated from my body, and that's part of my healing and being here. More on that tomorrow, but the point is, today was not productive. <laughs> but it was important. Allowing myself the rest I needed was actually a really big win for me and going upstairs for a moment to grab my charger and seeing the honeybees in the wall gave me the pause that I needed to stop. Finding that balance is going to be so essential to finding success in this endeavor because it's all so big the house and the project and the grounds and the dream and the effort of unlearning. It's all so big and I think sometimes that's why a lot of the things that I create are miniatures. It's a way of bringing the world back down to size, something manageable. Day 20. 79 days to go.